Hello and welcome to another question. Okay, so this week's question deals with decision trees. Now I found this question on the 2007 paper and basically what you need to do is draw a decision tree to describe the data in this table. Okay, so decision trees firstly contain every possible outcome that appears in a range of data or whatever you have. Okay, so in, in this case, it is all of these options here. So what a decision tree normally looks like, it's something like this. This is an example of a decision tree. And every possible outcome has its own path. So as you move along the tree, you will get to an outcome according on you know different specifications such as bait on hook, fish hungry, etc. So going back to our data here, all right, we can see that there are four different categories. Okay, we have upload speed, data allowance, the price, and the plan name. Now, the way that we start a decision tree is we first try to find common data within the table. Okay, and I can already see that we have two plans that have the same data allowance and also we have two lots of groupings for upload speed so we have either 256 or 128 kbs per second okay so logically I think you should start your table by one of these two uh, categories um, I suppose we'll just keep it simple and we'll start with the upload speed first. So how do we actually draw this? Okay, let's take it to a piece of paper. So the first thing is we'll start with conditions. Now we said the conditions will lead into the upload speed. Now the different conditions that exist are either going to be 256 or 128. So 120, 120. Okay, so this is our first option. We can see that upload speed, if you choose 128, it is only only going to be a certain amount of outcomes and same with 256 so the next thing now we need to look at is data allowance going back to our table we can see that the data allowance is either going to be 800 800 2 gig or 7 gig depending on the upload speed now we've already broken them up into subsections already so the 128 kbps upload speed will only have two options of either 800 megabytes or 2 gigabytes. So that is what I'm going to do now. So the first option was 800 megabytes. The other option was two gigabytes and for the 256 categories it's 807 gigabytes okay so all I've done was just I've shown connections between the different categories and, and outcomes and so we just move along the table as we as we go so upload data allowance the next one is price and plan name okay so for this one which is 120k uh, 800 meg it is 29.95 so the price was Twenty nine ninety five, 
and it was called Cable Light. Cable Light. Okay, moving on to the next one, which was thirty nine ninety five and called Cable Extra. Okay, moving down to the 256k, the first one was 34.95 and Cable Light Plus. So, and Cable Light Plus. And finally, the last one which is cable max at forty nine dollars or forty nine ninety five and so there we have it we have a decision tree that lists every possible outcome from the table that was provided and so that's basically all you need to do. You need to just pick the commonality. So we could have grouped by the data allowance or the upload speed. And then you just go out and you list every outcome that can be made. So thanks for watching. I hope you learned something. See you next time.